So as I've mentioned in a recent video, I've been playing around with espresso shots lately using an espresso machine that my uncle bought me uh, refurbished on eBay. I've been getting some pretty tasty results. So I've been doing espresso shots for a while. I haven't really been doing too much with the mocha pot, but I was inspired when the great James Hoffman himself uh, descended from his clouds of mocha, latte, I don't know, cream, whatever, uh, to make us a video about mocha pots. Uh, so I was looking through there uh, and this inspired me to try my mocha pot again. Now I ran out of my regular subscription beans, so I went to the coffee shop to buy some uh, espresso roast beans, which are far darker than I usually use for my mocha pot. So I used them uh, and it, it tasted pretty bad. Uh, it tasted bitter, it tasted overbrewed. Uh, and then I recalled what James Hoffman said in his mocha pot video, where he was talking about how you might vary the initial water level uh, with the roast level of beans. And I thought about this. Um, Warren King's paper, 2008 paper that I mentioned uh, in a prior video, uh, discusses this effect, that if you put more water in the mocha pot, uh, it actually takes longer to extract. Uh, because what you need is to be able to fill up the chamber with air. And so the more initial air you put in, the uh, earlier it extracts it has to do with this uh, ideal gas law kind of a thing. So basically when you have less air in there, you get this big back suction as you take the uh, initial small amount of air and force it to expand a lot and lower the pressure. So basically by putting less initial air in, uh, you can delay the brewing of the thing. Uh, which is great if you want to brew at a higher temperature. In fact, Warren King himself advocates for preheating your water to about 70 degrees Celsius so that you are brewing around a volume average of 92 to 94 degrees Celsius. What King doesn't mention uh, is how this temperature might depend on the roast level of the beans. It's commonly known in, among, among baristas, among uh, third grade coffee people, that uh, a darker roast coffee will extract more easily and therefore should be done at a lower temperature, whereas a light roast coffee uh, takes more work to extract it. The, the chemical structures uh, and all that has not been broken down as much by the roasting process, uh, so therefore a light roast coffee is going to extract at a higher temperature. Uh, so when Hoffman suggested that your water level uh, might be used to delay or advance the brewing time, which in turn affects the temperature that it brews at, I thought that makes sense. Um, but it could also be done in the form of how Warren King advocates in his paper, which is you change your initial starting temperature. So. You can just leave your initial temperature at room temperature, which is what every Italian claims you're supposed to do, use cold water or whatever. Um, and that's gonna give you a lower extraction temperature. Um, but it's also a very long, tedious process to wait around for it to boil all the way from, from room temperature. Uh, so I heated up my water to my usual 70 degrees Celsius, uh, and I followed James Hoffman's advice of filling up the water not as much, so there's more air. And as a result of this, it's going to cause it to brew earlier and therefore extract at lower temperature. Uh, the coffee on these new darker roast beans uh, came out a lot better, a lot mellower, uh, and just was a lot more enjoyable to drink. So the darker your roast is gonna be, the lower temperature you wanna extract at, you can accomplish this either by uh, preheating your kettle to a lower temperature, or as James Hoffman suggests, you just don't fill up the water level as high that will cause it to extract uh, earlier at a lower temperature. If on the other hand, you've got kind of a sour or under extracted mocha pot coffee, which generally comes out of your light roast beans, then yeah, make sure you fill it up all the way to the top. Uh, and you can also increase the starting temperature if you have one of these fancy kettles where you can change what the starting temperature is. So there you go. That's just kind of one detail that I often mentioned in this video uh, that I thought was worth pointing out in terms of how to get the very best out of your mocha pot, uh, which is, yeah, completely overlooked. I hadn't even considered it until Hoffman had pointed it out. Actually, maybe I wasn't giving myself enough credit. Roll tape. You want to stay away from dark roast beans if you're using a mocha pot because this thing already tends to overbrew. I'm going to say I was about half right. Thanks for watching. Remember to stay coffee snobby.